Hello friends. Welcome to ADO.net uh, tutorial. In this uh, sub-series, we are going to look into data table and uh, data adapter. Now we have knowledge of data table, data set as well as a grid view. In the last video, we used a data table to represent in-memory table. So, we created the data table and uh, we populated it using the in-memory logic. That means, uh, we doesn't pull data from the database. Instead, we cooked the data and populated the, the data table. Then we displayed that data table using the grid view. We can use advo.net data adapter class to populate the data into the data table. So this is one more advo.net class we are introducing in this uh, sub-series. It's a data adapter. So we can use data adapter class to populate the data into the data table. So data adapter provides fill method. So the fill method of the data adapter queries the database, fetches the records and fills the data table and the data table which presents in data set. Right? So it performs querying the DB, fetching the record and filling the data table. So that's the duty of a data adapter. Data adapter class contains command properties to talk to the database and these command properties include select command, insert command, update command and delete command. So, if you see here, there is a data adapter that knows how to talk to the DB. It uh, makes a use of the commands insert, update, delete as well as select. Using that, it will talk to the DB. And using the select command, it will fetches the data and fills the data set. And these are all the data tables. So that's the duty of the uh, data adapter. So using the fill method, the data adapter fills the underlying data tables that presents in the data set. So there may be one data table or multiple data table. It depends on what select command you are issuing to the database. The fill method, so here is the fill method. The fill method of the data adapter uses the select command, uses the select command. So other DML operations are performed using the relevant command properties. Suppose if you want to do insert, the command insert will be used. So all these commands are placed inside the data adapter and when need arises, data adapter uses the relevant command. So through data adapter, if you want to update the database, it will make use of the update command. Apart from command properties, Data adapter also maintains connection and table mapping. So, connection that tells how to connect to the database. Similarly, we will be having a table mapping. So, this table mapping is also useful to set uh, uh, relations and uh, other stuff that we will see in the um, uh, next sub series. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.